Let's see how to set up autofocus in the Life Air for Smart Master Slave mode. The new LiDAR motor supports Bluetooth connection in master control mode and can drive the previous LiDAR motor, as well as standard Bluetooth motors. Make sure both the master motor and the slave motor driving the lens are powered on. Press the master motor button 7 times, then hold on the 8th press for 3 seconds to switch to master control mode. Once switched, the power light flashes the remaining battery color four times, then flashes blue once in a loop. Press the master motor button three times, then hold on the fourth press for three seconds to pair the master and slave motors. First time pairing may take about five seconds. After pairing, the slave motor indicator flashes its speed level. The master motor power indicator flashes blue, then shows its speed level. Install the master motor in an open spot, keep it parallel, and place the LiDAR module near the lens center. Use different accessories to create your preferred mounting setup. You can also tilt the master motor for more flexibility. Note, controller connection is not supported in master slave mode. Before setting autofocus, make sure the channel indicator light is on. If not, Press the motor button three times to turn it on. If it is already on, select the color channel to store the lens data. Short press the motor button twice to cycle through five color channels. Rotate the long range LiDAR to the four degree position. Align the lens dividing line to the four degree area. Stick the focus chart to a flat, non-reflective wall, ensuring the camera and focus chart are aligned at the same level. Press and hold the master motor button for 3 seconds to automatically calibrate the lens travel. Alternatively, hold the slave motor button for 3 seconds to auto-calibrate the lens travel. If you're using a lens without a hard stop on the focus ring, please use the manual calibration function to set the effective focus range. Press the master motor button once, then hold it for 3 seconds to enter autofocus calibration mode. Once entered, the channel indicator light will blink twice in a loop. Turn the master motor gear to adjust the focus to the nearest focus distance. Move the camera to ensure the focus chart is sharp, then press the master motor button to mark the first point. A beep indicates the first point has been calibrated. The light will blink three times in a loop, signaling the system is waiting for the second point. Move the camera about 0.6 meters back from the first calibration point. Rotate the master motor gear to adjust the focus until it is fully clear. Then short press the master motor button to mark the second point. A beep confirms the second point has been calibrated. The light will blink four times in a loop, signaling the system is waiting for the third point. Move the camera about 1.5 meters back from the second calibration point. Rotate the master motor gear to adjust the focus until it is fully clear. Then short press the master motor button to mark the third point. A beep confirms that autofocus calibration is complete. The channel light will stay on with purple flashing alternately. Autofocus is now active. The autofocus setup in master slave mode follows the same steps as the regular process. For more detailed instructions, refer to the autofocus regular setup process.